most professing Christians do not really know Jesus Christ. They only believe in the Bible. Their faith, their insight and their knowledge is limited to that which they've heard from others and from what they've read in the Bible. Even those who are Bible scholars do not know Jesus Christ and they do not have salvation. The Bible is a book. It is limited. It tells us about Jesus Christ. It tells us about God. But it was written by people who wrote what they knew. And they did not know everything. We cannot describe God. We cannot define God. That which is known about God was recorded in the scriptures by people who had limited insight. The Bible does not describe everything. It does not describe the universe. It does not describe the vastness of the kingdom of God. And that is why many people lose faith when they start studying the Bible. They look for answers in the Bible. The Bible produces more questions than answers, and rightfully so, because Jesus Christ is God. He has all the answers, and He promised the Holy Spirit that will teach us and will guide us into all truth. It is impossible for one book to contain all the wisdom and all the words of God. Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus promised his disciples that he will send the Holy Spirit to teach and guide them. We read in John chapter 16 verse 12, I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he, the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of mine, and will disclose it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he takes of mine, and will disclose it to you. All wisdom and all knowledge belongs to God, belongs to Jesus Christ, and he shares his secrets with those who follow him. Jesus Christ reveals things to certain people as he wishes, but nobody has the full knowledge of God. We walk by faith and we learn from Jesus Christ. If we seek Him, if we are guided by the Holy Spirit. The Apostle John, who wrote the Gospel of John and recorded the words of Jesus, also wrote at the end of that Gospel, John chapter 21 verse 24, he said, This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, which if they were written in detail, I suppose that even the world itself would not contain the books that would be written. Knowing the Bible is not knowing Jesus Christ. Even if you know the whole Bible, you know very little. We can only know more if we are taught and guided by the Holy Spirit. The Bible is limited. It's just a book, a collection of selected scriptures that testifies about Jesus Christ and about God. But 
it is not conclusive. Jesus Christ is the way, the life, and the truth. If we know him and we follow him and we stay with him, he will reveal himself to us and we will learn the truth. The Bible only points us to Jesus Christ. But the Bible is not the word of God. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He is God. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of God who will guide those who follow him into all truth. But we have to know Jesus and be close to him. We must follow him and listen and he will teach us and he will guide us. Without Jesus Christ we know nothing and we are nothing. All we need is Jesus Christ. Seek him and you will find him. Seek the truth and you will find Jesus Christ. May Jesus bless you.